Hi, and welcome back to our series where we answer Rust coding interview questions. We're doing all of these on leap code, and today we're looking at move zeros. So given an array nums, write a function to move all the zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So basically we're taking these zeros in an array and putting them at the end of the array. So here's my current solution. So I'm going to do let y equal nums.lent, that being the length of the array. And then I do nums.retain, and I will have a reference to x in this closure. And then I will put x not equal to 0. And what will this, this will do basically for us is Anytime this is false, it will remove that element. So every time it's equal, x is equal to 0, it's going to remove that value for us. So we remove all the zeros, and now we want to put them back in at the end. So we're going to do nums.lent less than y nums.push 0. So push basically adds an element to the end of the array. And we're going to add 0. Each time our array length is less than y, and y is the original array length with the zeros in it. And if we run that code, we should get our answer. Now there is a more efficient way of doing this, and I'm going to show you that. So I started looking into this a little bit. And there's actually an interesting uh, little thing, trick you can do here. So you can do nums dot uh, sort by key. Now you pass in a reference to x like before, and you just do x equal to zero. And what that will do is every time x is equal to zero, it'll sort it for us. And it's just like a little nice one-liner. There you go. So if we submit that, it should be correct. There we go, 100%. And this is the most efficient way to do it. Uh, the way I did it first is just um, kind of the way you'd logically think about it, but if you didn't know about this uh, function. So we'll have a look here, and we can see in the documents that sort by key sorts the slice with a key extraction function. Um, so the current algorithm is adaptive, iterative, merge sort inspired by time sort. So just a little interesting side bit for you there. Hope you enjoyed and keep tuned for the next one. This weekend I should have a podcast up by Sunday or Monday at the latest. And the following week, I should be getting my first DSLR camera, so expect a little bit higher definition footage from me. That's all for now. Thanks.